What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to be looking at lethal gear we are going to be forging a whole bunch i think we got something crazy like 300 and 342 so we've got a load to forge um i'm going to tell you what's hot what's not what's trash what do we keep and you know this is really really important because we want you know gear is what helps your account progress the most but just before we do that, CVC is going on at the moment. And I just want to see how many points we are. So we still got today, well, this evening and tomorrow morning to sort of bash some points out. But we're comfortably seeing at 3,000, well, 317,000 points. Um, so let's see how many, how much we get from forging as well. So let's go ham, boys, and get that lethal gear that we need. And you can see here as well, like I save my charms, uh, like rarity and rank, really important, and the mythical ones, I am saving them for lethal gear. The best gear sets is what we should be using this for. So let's go, guys. Let's get that forging on. All right, gold from the bat. Nice, six star. I am going to be selling all, wow, 5K points off the bat. Nice. So, um, yeah, we are just going to be, you know, keeping six star gear. If you have... A lower account, in my opinion, it's okay to keep some five-star gear. I would probably keep gloves, chests, and boots if they're five-star. Um, the reason for that is that when you've got like an early mid-game account, it's so hard to build up all that precious gear that you need for the account. So, you know, you sort of hinder yourself and limit your account by just selling all that five star gear. So I would try and keep some. Obviously, it needs to have the good substats. So we're looking for speed, crit rate, crit damage, uh, attack percentage. And if you're lucky enough to have like in niche cases like a HP nuka or a defense nuka that you really want to level out, then look for subs in HP percentage and defense percentage as well. But we'll be talking about that later once we've got this all uh, all this gear forged. Our oh, nice mythical piece and it's six star. Nice. Uh, just like a little thing for me is that I do find it hard to see the difference between the stars. I don't know if it's because I'm getting on a bit, but I wish they would just put like number six. It would just be so much easier for us to see. Wow, double, double mythical. Cool, this is really lagging what is going on more mythical gear um but yeah so that's what we you know we're gonna be going through this and we've got we're gonna have a lot of gear to go through or oh, that looks like all cells to me low points nice more more mythical gear again you know it's all about the subs if the subs are terrible mythical gear just sell it don't hold on to trash and wow we're still we're still going we're still forging away like a madman okay so this mythical chess piece if it was like you know attack percentage speed crit rate and maybe crit damage even if you just had two i would probably keep that on a mid game account because it will probably be the best piece of gear that you have on the account it's just one of those things like everything's really situational. Um, it really just depends what you've got on the account, what you need. Um, but I'll try and do my best to sort of break down what you should be keeping and what you should be selling. Nice. That's some really nice gear there. But, um, yeah. So it's a shame because lethal gear, we can only farm it every three months. So after today, we're going to have to wait another three months to come back around before we can uh, start selling it again. Just, we are getting a lot of good gear, but this is why you need to save the charms. Like literally, I and oh, that's the thing as well. I only forge during CVC personal rewards. You know, it gives us a ton of silver, a ton of points for um, CVC, and it's just what we need. Okay, so we're just over halfway through. So I'm gonna say that's enough now. And let's look at what we've got. Hopefully, we've got some tasty, tasty pieces. Uh, personally, um, Harima, my Harima is weak sauce. Um, so I need some like 
defense percentage gloves, no, sorry, chest and boots. And then ideally like a really nice pair of crit damage gloves. I really need to buffer up. So for me, all this five-star gale, uh, gale gear is getting sold. It doesn't even matter if it's mythical, it's getting sold. So actually, let's just have a sneaky peek. Wow, we really beat the odds here. Six pieces of mythical gear, six star. That is insane. So let's actually, let's start here. Okay, that's a trash piece, but I will keep it because if you can get a quad roll in speed, that could be nice, but otherwise, yeah, pretty useless. Again, the same reason. I'm just going to keep it just in case. Not not so hot, but um, yeah, the, the speed on this could be make this an actually deadly piece. The speed and accuracy, this will be a nice off piece. Chest, that is an instant sell. Boots are terrible. Boots are terrible. So the chest piece, let's do, um, I'm going to rework it. A lot of people don't like to do this. I think is actually a much, much better way because otherwise all you end up doing is keeping trash gear and then you have to roll it up and you know, and then you have to rework it. it just doesn't make sense to me. I feel like it's much more efficient to do it that way. So yeah, we're going to keep all of that gear just in case. And now let's unlock the rest. Okay, so that's a cell. If it doesn't have speed, it's just not going to be good enough to keep. Again, this is like sort of an average piece. So there's crit rate, there's speed, but really we need like crit damage as well. Really? Oh, okay. That's a nice weapon. But yeah, a lot, a lot of trash. I mean, even if I got like speed and crit rate on, um, on a rare piece, I would still keep it. Nice. That's exactly what I'm looking for for Harima. Shame there's no crit damage. Okay, that could be a potentially a good piece as well. Um, I am finding like, you know, look how much gear we forged and there's still, it's not the best. There's still a lot of work to be done. I will keep that. The other thing as well is that what I've learned over time is that obviously we want crit damage gloves and the reason we want crit damage gloves is because you get 80 um you know 80 um crit damage on the gloves and then with crit rate gloves it's 60 so you're missing 20 um like you know substats so or stats you're missing 20 stats so that sucks so that's why we want crit damage gloves but what i've learned over time is that it's so hard to get all of you know to get the gear to land in the right places so actually if you get speed and crit damage it's worth keeping because then you can use crit rate gloves to sort of you know try and get champions up again we're not a lot of this gear is not ideal i will probably look at it later and sell it on to be honest yeah we just need like speed crit rate crit damage crit rate uh, sorry attack percentage just anything like that's really really going to help So the gloves, gloves, obviously, see, if that was had like speed, I would keep it. So speed and crit damage and the crit rate, I'd keep. Uh, just, you know, that wouldn't be for like a top tier Nuka, but that would be someone else on the account that I could sort of feed into. Okay, I will keep those ones just in case. Uh, again, okay, I will hold on to the speed crit damage gloves. I'm a little bit more lenient with gloves, chest. Okay, wow. That is a sick piece. Yeah, so gloves, chest, uh, again, that is a god tier piece if it rolls in the right places. Nice. But um, yeah, if we can get the roll, um, yeah, so chest, gloves, uh, boots, I'm a little bit more lenient with. No defense percentage pieces, which sucks. Yeah, that, that needs to have speed in it for me to keep it. Those boots, not quite good enough. I will keep the crit rate ones. Okay, I will keep these ones just in case. And sell the rest. 
So we've kept 27 pieces out of 100 and something. I think it was like 150, maybe 200. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is press just new again, and that's going to stop all those pieces showing up again that we've just forged. Back to the forge. Back to work. All right, and we're back here, boys. Yeah, we're getting some major lag off this. Okay, sort of average. Okay, got a few six star legendary pieces, which exactly what we're after. Okay, that's probably all going to be trash. Okay, got some decent pieces. Um, and what I'm going to do as well, so, you know, afterwards, I sort of will just with those pieces that were like legendary and there's a potential of getting like a quad roll in speed. What I would do with those pieces is just roll them to like roll them up to level eight, see where it lands. If it, if, the, if you're getting bad rolls, just sell it, just sell it. There's no point in keeping trash gear. Um, but yeah, if something's got good rolls, like say speed, crit rate, crit damage, and I roll it up and I get two rolls in speed, I'd rather it goes in the crit rate, but if it doesn't, I would hold on to it um, and just roll it and see where the rest of the stats go. Because sometimes you can still get a really good piece. Or even if you had, like, say, flat attack, you got flat attack in the subs and you roll it up and two going there, but there's a chance for you to get the crit rate. I would still keep that just because it can be so hard to really build up god tier gear sets and, you know, how many champions do you have in your account? Like millions, millions and millions. Um, and we, they all want gear. So, and we, and, you know, we're all guilty of it. We all want to try and gear up all of our champions. So still got some, I think we're going to have some tasty, tasty pieces. Not interested. Okay. So we'll do the same again. Oh, bang on the money right there. So we won. Oh, actually, sell that five star gear first. Have a look at the mythical gear. Only two pieces this time. Oh, okay. So these boots as well, like you would just be too slow. Um, but I will only hold on to these just because... Let's let's just give it a roll. Let's see. We'll roll to eight. If it doesn't land in crit rate, okay. I'm gonna keep going. Nice. Okay. Thank God I didn't sell these boots. I mean, not the best, not insane. Uh, but for example, I've got Samson, who speed is important on him. Like speed is almost important in every champion, but he can sort of get away with it because he counterattacks a lot. So actually, I could maybe put that on him. There's potential there. And this piece, I don't know. No, let's not rework it. Let's just sell. That would just be silly. Yeah. So I try and save my reworks just for Merciless Gear and also um, the new speed set as well, which I cannot remember the name off the top of my head. Um. Okay, so... Oh, see. I will hold on to that piece. Um, sometimes, you know, you can get away with not having all the substats in the right places. Okay, a lot of trash. And you can see, like, this is what it's like. This is how you cleanse. I, mean, I could definitely be way steeper. Okay, that is a nice piece. But, um, yeah, always, always want that crit damage, though. I just feel like crit damage is slightly a better stat. It's a better stat to have. Oh, see, again, it's not not hugely game-changing. Okay, so this has real potential to be a good piece. So I will hold on to that. If we can get a cheeky sub in uh, speed, I'll be very, very happy. Uh, and with the gloves as well, I only really want to hold on to anything that's uh, crit damage or crit rate. Um, I usually don't bother with nice, 
So this could be the answer for my Harima. That is exactly what I'm after. If only there was crit damage instead of attack percentage, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, like I said, it's so hard to get good, good pieces. And what I'll do as well is that I have like a rule where I try to keep maybe three pieces. So like I'd keep three chess pieces. Um, I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, really, really unlucky with the boots. But yeah, that's a whole, whole lot of selling. And with the boots as well, like for your best snookers, you want them to be attack percentage, H3, defense. Um, but, you know, like I said, you do run out of gear and you can't always be the best that you want to be. So if you can get like speed, speed boots with crit rate in them, ideally it would be attack percentage and uh crit damage again i feel like i'm just like a broken record but if it was that it would help so so much so let's just have a look at uh, i'll give you like an oversight of the um lethal gear on my account and then what i would do is i go through this and go all right that's a bit too slow i mean to be fair i don't know why i've kept that it's a real shame. Like it could be again. This would might be quite good for Samson. Um, yeah, probably will sell that. That is a terrible piece. Um, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Like it's just it just looks nice, but it's not great. Again, this is just awful, awful gear that I've held on to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that as well is not the best. This has potential because we've got the subs in speed. That could be really god tier. Again, I just feel like, why am I keeping this piece of gear? Yeah. I mean, all of that gear can go, to be honest. So, yeah, that's sort of how you cleanse. So, it's how I like to do it. And, like, with this, I will just roll it up. Roll it up to eight. Can we get speed? Nice. I mean, even this could be, like, used for a debuffer as well. If you get like a land in accuracy as well, this is actually a good piece. Ideally, obviously, we'd like a like you know double roll in accuracy or triple, and same with speed. But I'll take that. That could be used as a nice off piece. Um, and just try with this one as well. Okay, can we get some speed? No, I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, it's just not good enough for my account. And then we did have that really god tier piece. Okay. Can we get lucky? Oh, split. I'm not a fan of the split, but this is still a really, really good piece. It's going to help us get the stats that we need. And I really want to look at that chess piece, the defense one. If it lands in a flat H, and I'm going to jump straight to 12. Speed and crit rate, speed and crit rate. Oh, okay. Can we get at least in crit rate? This is just typical Polarium kicking us in the balls. Oh, and yeah, this is three months, three months to get this, which had potential to be God tier and now sort of mediocre. I will not rework this because the chances are it's just going to get way, way worse. Um, let's just have a look at that HP one though, because this could be really nice. Like for Rotos, this could be a god tier piece. All right, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Oh, crit rate, come on. Ah, so that's just sort of average. I mean, it's nice to have a bit of accuracy on a Rotos, but it's not the best. I swear we had, I thought we picked up two pieces of god tier. HP. Did I sell it by mistake? Oh dear. All right. And then let's just go for this one. If we can just get speed and crit damage. Ah, oh, again. Well, that's raid life for you. You know, it's so hard to get what you want. I hope you guys have way, way better luck than me when it comes to getting those rolls. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Whoa, 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 real deal. Sorry, guys, I almost completely forgot. So we got 390 points. 
Um, you know, I'm not the best at math, so I'm going to whip out the old calculator and see uh, how much we got roughly from just doing that. 73K. 73K. That is insane. So, yeah, 73K just from forging. I mean, amazing. So I don't have much more left to do for CVC. Pretty easy for me. Um, but, yeah. So, and let's just see as well. I think we're we're smashing the other team. This is going to be an easy win. Wow. People are slacking in the clan, though. Look at Boozer. Can't touch this. <laughs> yeah, Boozer, Boo, Boozer, absolute legend. I'm sure you guys know who he is. Another content creator. Uh, but, yeah. But, yeah. Some people really, really slacking in the clan. Come on, guys. Get it together. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm definitely going to bash out some, like, some numbers. Easily hit that 400k. Get those uh, personal rewards. Uh, I've got a video on this as well, so do make sure you check it out. Um, it's a lot easier to do when you're end game. Uh, mid to early, you are going to struggle. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace!